okay welcome to the uh, new lecture so in the unit 3 uh, it deals with the electrostatics in dielectric medium so under that uh, we are going to see about the topic capacitance of a parallel plate okay so it's uh, normally this said to be parallel plate capacitor so here you have uh, two capac uh, two parallel plates you can see parallel plates so in between the capacitor uh, will be present now this is connected to some uh, potential some potential will be applied in between so the field is passed through this okay so this is how an uh, a dielectric is appeared to be here i can take this as uh, a and the distance between these two parallel plate capacitor it is mentioned as d and here as i said the potential that is v okay now the electric flux density that is given by d is equal to q by a the amount of charge per unit area and uh, this there is a relation for e and uh, d that is electric field and uh, flux density that uh, is flux density so e is equal to d by epsilon or you can say it as d is equal to epsilon into e so these things already we have studied so for d you know q divided by epsilon into a so from this you can uh, get the value of E. So what is A? A is the area of the plates. Area of the plates. If it is square, then the square of area. Sorry, area of the square. Then if it is a rectangle, then uh, area of a rectangle. Area of uh, the plate. And B is the separation. So that will come in the uh, next uh, upcoming equation. So D is the separation between the plates. Separation of plates. And what else here? A, D and uh, epsilon. Yes, there is permittivity. Permittivity. So these things we have to know first. Move on to the next slide. So here we know that the electric field is given by V divided by so from the diagram so the electric field E is equal to V divided by D V divided by D so put this as equation number 2 this is 1 and here it is So we can equate this equation 1 and 2 equating equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 you know q by epsilon a q by epsilon a that is equal to v by t v by d. So we can write this as, uh, so this Q is equal to, in terms of capacitance, if you write that Q is equal to C into V. So what will happen? This equation becomes CV divided by epsilon A is equal to V by D. Okay. So here we can cancel the common term v and v so from this we can find the value of capacitance that is equal to epsilon a by small d so 
if you find a uh, material or if you in uh, research purpose if you find a new material if you want to find the capacitance of that material uh, there is a small arrangement like this so how to make that material in terms of pellet just like the tablet okay so these are the two parallel plates and uh, it is conducting and you have to place the material in between that is also in the form of a circle so there you have to put the area of the circle pi r square so epsilon that is a value uh, the permittivity value of that particular material if you know that you can easily find so c is equal to epsilon into divided by d and this is the uh, we should know the uh, radius value also by knowing the radius we can find the area and here the distance between these two uh, so using this we can find the capacitance value so it is very useful formula uh, even in the research also so this is about uh, the capacitance uh, <coughs> when we use uh, two parallel plates okay the capacitance of a capacitor while using the parallel plate capacitor now next uh, capacitor or capacitance of uh, parallel plate capacitor capacitance of parallel plate capacitor which is the next topic with the two media so in case of one medium if we use uh, two media it will be uh, different so here v is equal to two different voltages uh, can be there because of the two media v is equal to v1 plus v2 so that it will becomes e1 d1 plus e2 d2 and it's again e1 is given by d divided by epsilon 1 into d1 plus d divided by epsilon 2 into d2 so by uh, using the relation between electric field and I think so okay uh, how it is two media are there so in between the dielectric material will present uh, it is the insulator as you know so instead of one material if you have a combination of two material one of there is one material another of other material so up to this you have v1 and up to this you have v2 and the distance also varies d1 and d2 uh, the permittivity of this uh, different medium also change so this is epsilon 1 and this is epsilon 2 and here you have to give the uh, potential that is voltage v now applying this you will get q divided by a into epsilon 1 into d1 and the q divided by a into epsilon 2 into d2 so the similar kind of uh, values okay so here what we observed for e for the same here we are using for e1 it is q in divided by a into epsilon 1 here it is a into epsilon 2 now we know for Q it is uh, CV or uh, here itself we can uh, take the common terms outside Q by A that is uh, taken outside so D1 by epsilon 1 plus D2 by epsilon 2 so this can be written as Q is equal to C into V as you know so CV divided by A into so D1 
e1 uh, by epsilon 1 plus d2 by epsilon 2. So this is uh, for v. Now we can uh, cancel this. So here this uh, one, 1 is there. Now we want to find c. So c is equal to a divided by d1 by epsilon 1 plus d2 by epsilon 2. Okay, so and finally we can write this expression as c is equal to a divided by d1 by so this epsilon 1 can be written as epsilon naught into epsilon r1 plus d2 by epsilon naught into epsilon r2 because the permittivity in free space is same but the relative permittivity is different for the different medium so that's what it is appeared here and this is the final expression uh, what else we can take okay so we can take this epsilon naught uh, to the upside so epsilon naught into a divided by d1 divided by epsilon r1 uh, plus d2 divided by epsilon r2 this is the final expression for c so if n number of dielectric is present so we have taken as uh, two dielectrics uh, one and two so if uh, we have more number of dielectrics are present uh, if n number of dielectrics are present So in that case, the equation can be written as C is equal to epsilon naught A. The area is uniform. So here we can write it. Summation of I is equal to 1 to N in dN by epsilon di. So it is given as I. So epsilon R I. So this is the general form of expression. So whatever the number of dielectric present in between, we can find using this formula. So very simple equations. And in the next topic, we have capacitance of uh, cylindrical capacitor or a cable and the capacitance of uh, spherical capacitor also capacitance of two wire transmission line okay so that we will see in the next class thank you